Oh. Actually. Oh. How's it going, lads? My name is Lucas and welcome to the multi-billion dollar studio. The one you might never heard about. <laughs> so today it's Monday. I have a new microphone and I'm going to start the proof of concept. What a perfect day, right? <laughs> and I believe that I've been doing some vlogging in the past and I, I'd like to do some code vlogging, I per se, on this proof of concept because it's a small one and I don't believe it's going to be, uh, it's going to delay more than two days to make it. So to start, I'm going to use a technology that I used before, I used two weeks ago and you can see somewhere here on the video where I created a random generator, a random phrase generator where I use a API from OpenAI to create my phrases. So today we're back to OpenAI and we're going to use the API called classification. So the API that I used on the previous project was the completion. So what the completion does is you give a instruction to OpenAI, for example, write a tagline for a nice screenshot and the OpenAI is going to return the tagline for you or whether you wanted to. So in my example there on the previous video, I pass instruction to write a phrase for me and I have the set of rules for my phrases and it was perfect, it was fine. But now on classification is a little bit different. On classification, we're going to pass a, a not an instruction, but an input text. And then the input text is going to return to us labels. And so how are you going to work with this and how uh, my proof of concept will exist? So that is this uh, playground here where I, I get this as an example. So. I wanted to extract keywords from these blob of tests. So when I press on generate here, OpenAI is gonna read the text, read the instruction to extract the keywords. They're gonna extract the keywords for this blob of text. So how am I gonna use these on my proof of concept? So, so if, you, if you follow me or if you see my previous videos, I have a startup called Cluster Stack. And in Cluster Stack, we have some sort of a linkaging environment in there. <laughs> because we have, we have this part where users can create their CV and they can apply for jobs and jobs elsewhere, their job that can support these applications and everything. What I wanted to do now is using the OpenAI to pass blob of text from CVs and get keywords from that and get blob, pass attacks from a job position and get keywords from that too. And see if we can match keywords from one and another and start a process uh, of services that we are creating inside Closet Stack that is the job matching. But bear in mind, job matching is not uh, combining keywords. It's just one variable of job matching. That is another plenty different variables we have to, to take care of. So, and of course, bias, we have to eliminate bias and we have to clean the data. There's a lot of things we have to do to provide a good job matching service. And um, let's start coding. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, it's almost 9 p.m. now and i up to get my shower, get a little bit warmer, get, get a cup of tea. So what I've done here, I start trying to work on this web service we use in Python. But for some reason, the package of OpenAI is not importing. I have to discover what it is. So I shift back to TypeScript. So we have here now a request where we send the request, you're going to have the response. So the text that I'm sending there now is the same as my playground. So it's the same as this blob of text and receiving now the keywords here. So what I'm going to do after that, like I, I see if I'm going to continue today, but not tomorrow morning, I'm going to try to send send here on this text part here where whether it is the job position description or the CV description of the, the candidate and see if we can get extract some keywords that they might be the same. 
So I might gonna do like some two requests here and then gonna receive two, re two different responses and see if we can get like this uh, matching of keywords. <laughs> Sounds fun. Let's let's try to see. Let's try and see what's gonna happen. Hey guys, how's it going? Good afternoon. And I have to apologize to you guys <laughs> because yesterday I was talking about to extract the keywords and match the job description if, with the job CV. But actually, that wasn't the classification API I was using. Turns out the extraction keywords was using the completion API. And I just realized later yesterday and I reshaped my app this morning to work with the extraction keywords to leverage that API that I already set up and use it and actually use with the classification API. So let's go back here to the screen. That's the project that I created after yesterday. So I created a request endpoint where I would pass the description text and the description text could be from LinkedIn or job.ie doesn't matter. So what this what I would do with this description was to get the OpenAI completion to extract the keywords from that. So I will get the result of the description and the labels that I the each label would be the keywords I extract from that description. So with that description, I push that to the OpenAI classification API, and then I will get a response with my label classification so to explain a little bit better let's go here to the screen here what i would do is create a variable that i can create examples on which text would get some labels so i have an array of arrays where inside this array here I would have the text of example and what label i would get for that example so i creating examples here to teach or present to OpenAI classification what is the pro probable results I want from that text and pass into that. So then I will pass here on the API call and then the labels I would use the keyword extraction from our completion API where I will pass the labels here and then here I would pass the description of the job. So I I went and done that, but the result wasn't so good because, well, I passed just a little of examples to the OpenAI and then the results give me a very low score. I went ahead and studied how I could use the classification API to get me a better result. Here, OpenAI allows you to op upload labeled examples. So I went ahead and create two endpoints on my project. The first one was the upload endpoint where I would upload the file, an example file to OpenAI. First of all, I would pass a URL. So this URL being a Stack Overflow job, job fee. So Stack Overflow has a job page where there is a lot of companies that they post jobs in Stack Overflow and they allow you to assign to a RSS feed. So this URL here is only a RSS from Stack Overflow. So I will get these job descriptions, job positions from this URL. And these job positions would have the description. And actually Stack Overflow gives you the categories for that job position. And a job position on Stack Overflow can be one, can have one or more categories. So I define the categories as my labels. I can leverage the a lot of job positions that exist on Stack Overflow to create an example file for OpenAI. So I will create a JSON line file with all this chunk of descriptions and, and labels. And then uploading these files to OpenAI, OpenAI give me back a file ID. 
So this file ID, I can use it as a indicator to OpenAI to work with my job description and match with the best label possible for my my classification. Then I create this endpoint called classification where I will pass the file ID and I pass the description of the job position. And then I, a job OpenAI would use the classification API. Then now I'm using that <laughs> to create, uh, to label our job description. So here is the job. This is the project right now. So I'm going to start here and i would do here right now on this part here is two it's slicing to 200 job position i'm gonna slice to 280 and i'm gonna open here my my request api to upload the file and then test it against this file that i use so i will now try to upload the file using the job speed so let's see It's creating now. It's a big chunk of file. Let's see, it's gonna generate. Oh, actually, oh, <laughs> it created job position. It created files for me. All right, all right, okay. So I can actually now select and see if the file is uh, is a good file. So I open AI as well allows you to check if the file is processed or not so let's see here how it's processed all right so we have here a file as processed okay okay so i will go now and select this file here and do a classification so i have here a one line string that represents a job description now what i can do here is test this file test the text string against this file and uh, just to so use see here now the the classification api will pass the file here that's the file id and i use the search mode that's ada test against the model da vinci and let's see what is the result so let's see here probably it's gonna be the same result as we have before because this, the file is not much different from the previous file i uploaded here oh actually give me amazon s3 <laughs> So when I got the results like that, I can see here I have on this object the model, the object, that the classification, and I can see selected examples. On selected examples, you can see like uh, which are the scores of the results. So as you can see here, the scores are very low. It's three and one is not a good score. So what this indicates to us is. Uh, our file our example file is not optimal for the type of classification we wanted to do so i have to work a little bit more on this classification file and as and i can't do at the moment the job in matching because i only have the job position description classification but i will do the classification for the cvs and then after that after having these classifications done i will do the job matching so i will use a different approach to do the job matching but first of all we have to get these labels from the job position job matching to actually be able to match them so that's it i will post the links of the random generator phrases on the description i won't be posting this repository on the description because you're not going to be able to you're not going to be allowed to access it because it belongs to the closest stack environment and is a private environment so the stack links are on the description and uh, as always my social medias if you like this video please leave a like subscribe and as always see you on the next one